Hello, N4H and H here. I want you guys to hear this. I'm mobile. Well, I'm stopped at a, at a red light with a bunch of traffic. Listen to how quiet this Yaesu FT891 is mobile. Well, you know, I've got some hard issues too. I even take a day you ready, you know, to kind of get some of the water off. I'm kind of in the same spot there you are. Now, I'm running digital noise reduction at 9. I never set it lower than 9. Uh, if you do, you get that watery digital artifact. It sounds like people are underwater. Uh, RF gains rolled back, as you can see, to S5. Now he's gone down in signal. He's not as strong as he was a while ago. So I may have to raise the RF gain a little bit. Which of course means turn it clockwise and lower the S meter. So that increases the RF gain. But that's just incredible to ride around mobile and trust me, there's noise out there. That's just how good the digital noise reduction well, I'll tell you is. What does me like that is a giant hawk, like a giant pig or a giant coat. I do have now, the noise I blinker. Around, I, go to the I, know I have to. Otherwise, you hear my motor noise. Whatever it takes. know the noise I'm only running it at a level of one. Okay, so just, just a quick video. I wanted you to see what a great job the FT891 does as a mobile, primarily because of the digital noise reduction. I am using IPO, as you see there. Um, mobile, I don't, let me just tell you, mobile, I, I never turn off the IPO unless I'm sitting still. You know, and I'm working like 10 meters, 15 meters, 17 meters, things like that, where you don't get as much noise. Um, but most of the time, uh, I am running IPO. Because you do not need an RF amplifier on 40 meters mobile because you're going to get more noise uh, than you can shake a stick at just because you're mobile. Power lines and everything else. I need to just be honest with you. I mean, and another thing to note before I stop the video, you know, their signals aren't exceptionally strong. I mean, it's middle of the day on 40 meters. But, um, you know, it's, uh, that's just how good the receiver is in this radio and it's not a down conversion receiver it is an up conversion receiver uh you can learn more about that through google okay sorry i had to interrupt the video the traffic started moving i had to drive uh but hey thanks a lot for riding along with me or well i guess sitting at a red light with me uh just wanted you to to hear how quiet mobile can be and i mean i didn't I, because of being in a vehicle i didn't go through the menus and undo everything you know to let you hear all the noise that it was suppressing but it, it is it is quite uh bad as you can imagine you know when you're mobile there's a lot of things power lines and all sorts of things and you know i i normally run the intercept point optimization you see it on there in the display um there we go let me focus it i normally run ipo when i'm mobile because there's just so much noise out there anyway and if you don't run IPO, you've got, you know, your first stage of, of radio frequency amplification turned on and you don't need any more of, uh, uh, you know, that's sensitivity, of course. You don't need more sensitivity when you're mobile because you're just going to pull in more noise and, uh, you know, not, not very advisable, especially here on the lower frequencies. You know, maybe when I'm up on 17 meters, I like to operate 17 mobile and, of course, 10, um, 10 meters mobile is great. But uh, so there, I, you know, I might opt to uh, engage the RF amplifier, which means to disable IPO. But on these lower frequencies, I definitely run IPO and sometimes even attenuation. Again, just, you know, knock that noise floor down. But I just wanted you to hear how quiet a mobile station can be. 
And, you know, kudos to Yesu for their work with the DSP in this radio. They've done such a great job. All right, hey, thanks for watching. I want to uh, thank my Patreon team members for helping offset the cost of uh, having this channel. Of course, I couldn't do it without you. And, um, hey, if you'd like to become a member of that Patreon team, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. I'll put that down here at the bottom of the screen. And, of course, if you would, please like the video. That helps us with YouTube, of course. Uh, and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe to the channel, be sure to click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload the next video, which is generally one a week, sometimes two a week. Again, hey, thanks for watching, and 73 from N4H&H.